guys, welcome to Dad to Dan. Um, in these episodes you will learn one, how to present your product or service in a face-to-face -face sales call, two, how to effectively use sales aids, brochures, product samples, or even what to do if you don't have any at all, and three, um, this is part of our series on the perfect sales call. So follow the link below and um, you'll be able to see the whole video stream. So this is going to be a series of five short videos. The first video is going to be the basics, what you, what you need to do, what your thinking needs to be about when you do a face-to-face -face sales presentation. The second video will be on when you use a sales aid. The first one will be a brochure. How do you effectively use a brochure to add some colour and some visuality to the presentation? Thirdly, it's going to be samples. You've got some product samples and you're using those. How do you use those? How do you keep control of them and sort of the, the customers are getting hold of them and playing around with them? Fourth, we would say, well, what if you've got nothing? You've got no visual aid to help you in your sales presentation. What are you going to do then? How can you create uh, a vision for the customer of your product? And then uh, the fifth one was really, really, how do you use tablets and computers, modern technology? How can you use that similar way you do with a brochure? Now, these are all separate videos. You can, you can pick the one you want by uh, clicking on the link here or just run this one and they'll all run concurrently and you can listen to them all. Cheers. So Deb, we're into the presentation area. Um, what, what should be your main focus in the presentation? The key focus here uh, doing a presentation is this is what the, the, the questioning is built up for. So you, there's two things at least you've got, to, you've got to get over. First of all, you've got to answer the uh, issues that you've uncovered during the questioning stage. And if, if you haven't seen that already, go back to the video we showed on questioning and find out about that. So that's the key one. But also it's suddenly the focus is on you because up until now, the customer's been quite patient. You've, they've been answering the, the questions that you've asked, but they really want to see your product. Mm. You know, they're, they're, they're hopefully, they're excited and interested. Yeah. And now you always a chance to show it. So all the focus is going to be on you, so you've got to do it right. Um, and the same things you've got to remember are not only if you, you've got to make it entertaining, if you can, because that uh, is going to be more memorable, but it's the old adage about um, you only retain 20% of what you hear, 30% uh, or 40% of what you hear and see, uh, and something like 60% of what you hear, see, and do. Mm -hmm. So whether it's using a brochure, whether it's using some samples, mm -hmm. or a tablet or a computer, using some sort of visual aid will really have a better impact with the customer. How you control those, though, is very important. Otherwise, what you can do is it just goes all over to the customer, and the customer starts flicking through the brochure, asking you questions, and you've lost complete control. So in each of these next videos, we're going to be explaining how you do those particular areas really well. Uh, so after you, you've gone through the little questioning with, with the customer, um, you've obviously you've found out something that, that may be an issue for them. How do you really you know, make them think about that? And well, well, that's the, the key of the presentation. You've got to, you've got to make them start to sort of imagine what using your product will feel like, particularly what what it will feel like when it meets their problems, when it solves their mm -hmm. problems. So not only are you saying, well, look, this 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 function here is going to solve it. What you're saying is, imagine what that will feel like. So you've got to use words like imagine and think how. Um, you use words like that, so they start to see themselves actually using your product. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, if you've got samples, it's great because you can actually start that interaction even more. 